Welcome back to Tales of Drang Lake, everyone. Uh, in the previous episode, we were in a little bit of a dilemma as to what to do with our weapons. Because, uh, you know, to really roleplay as Ishin, we need a spear. And I was kind of hesitant on whether to buy the standard spear or just wait until something else. And I decided to go for the best of both worlds, which is get the standard spear and go for... Oh shit, I didn't know this had a slashing moveset. Uh, and go for a different weapon later on. Um, I looked through all the spears in this game and I came to the conclusion that the York spear is the most Ishin-like. Uh, obviously that's a late game weapon. I'm just, I'm just thinking. Yeah, this is how we're gonna do it. It's a late game weapon, however... Uh, yeah, it has the most fitting moveset, honestly. So what we're gonna do is we'll hold out with this thing. It looks fairly good. It has a slashing moveset at least. And yeah, we'll try to get Yorg's Spear ASAP, which is not going to be that easy. But it's something we're just gonna have to manage. So anyways, yeah, uh, I'm pumped to be continuing because I feel like in especially the last episode I got kind of stuck. Didn't make as much progress as I should have and I kind of intend to change that. But this is so cool. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. That man, Ishin, knew what's up, because the moveset of these two weapons works very well with each other. Listen, no wonder that boy was legendary. Uh, obviously, this is Dark Souls 2, but the idea still comes through. We can't do, like, crazy leaping attacks, but again... We know what game we're playing. Apparently these guys are weak to thrusting attacks. Hold on. Did I just really get lucky? Yeah, yeah, th this is an... Uh, yeah, okay. Whatever. This is a thing you can get in vanilla. Uh, I kind of... Listen, I'm not exactly up to date with my Dark Souls 2 equipment. So, if I don't know whether a thing actually exists in the base game or not, don't get angry at me. This dude exists in the base game though. Uh, Mr. Pursuer. Oh, fuck! Okay. I gotta get into the habit of being able to actually heal <laughs> mid-boss fight in Dark Souls 2. Without having to get to like the other side of the world. And... I have to get used to the fact that these dudes are way quicker uh, than they've ever been. You know, I'm so used to the rhythm of uh, Dark Souls 2 play. As someone who has put a shit ton of hours into that game. Or this game. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna screw up occasionally. So this is a fairly good, like, chill boss battle. Not particularly difficult. If he keeps doing that, then it's gonna be really easy. See, that attack is for sure sped up. I can tell what's sped up and what's not. <laughs> oh, that's... What the f fuck was that? He's busting out all the rare attacks. He has all of these, like, this, these are not, like, programmed in, but... Damn. It's not something you see too often. It's okay, we have plenty of stus. No reason to panic about anything. Plus the bonfire is, like, a few steps away. Obviously the thing about this is just you can only try this once. I 
I wonder how many of the later bosses, which can be a bit more challenging, how much they're gonna fuck me up uh, if they're sped up like this. See, that, for example, was very quick. That slash he did. Just because... Oh, fuck. Okay. Healing is not that quick. It's quick, but not that quick. Fuck, I... I really had that, almost. Uh, I screwed up. Shame. Oh well, you still get to fight this guy. It's not like you miss out on it. But... Uh, I... Well, we have 21 humanities, so whatever. It's more of a point of pride, you know. Whatever. Unless you can try again in this game. Doubtful, though. Come on. Come on. Fucking hell. Okay. You guys need to chill out. Or at least give me back my souls. I didn't know this many of them would be, like, on my ass. Nice throw. Eat shit, bitches. Gold pine. And this is some ring. No, it's not. It's repair powder. Cool. Can I finally move on? Let's do it. Alright. Actual godforsaken progress. It almost feels unbelievable. Yeah, let's do... Okay. This is not something that was here before. Right? Yeah, you, there was only a ladder from the other side. You had to go through this firebomb area. Light crossbow, prepare to never see that again. And you know, I almost said that I'm gonna really try actually managing my inventory during this playthrough. Uh, I almost said it, but then I realized that that's something I say on every playthrough. Like, I'm gonna actually use the storage, the bottomless box. I'm gonna manage my shit to not have to cycle through like seven pages of weapons. If I want to switch during a fight, but... Just testing. But I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to commit myself. Okay, infantry helm. What the f fuck are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, can you just... Can you hit those, please? Oh, damn it. Come on, bro, you were... Seriously. <laughs> yeah, we're going cinematic here. Break it. That was close. Yeah, please hit it. At least it should explode if this guy hits it. I seem to remember that happening. It should be careful with that. The Uchigatana's second swing is fairly slow. I tried it out two-handed. What the? Come on. It's just one of these attacks. Okay. Yeah, that's the reason why this kind of has a boring moveset, the standard spear, because it's like the same thing, uh, one-handed and two-handed. Still, you know, if it's practical, I'm not exactly... Gonna complain. Okay, just fuck me over with these guys. Peeps who play Dark Souls 2 know that this is like the worst enemy in the entire game. Like, this dude is unbelievably... Like... He's just a bullshit generator. He can hit you from, like, forever out. Stun locks surprisingly easily. Hey, I got the Winged Spear too. I don't think the Wing Spear actually has a different moveset. 
I think it just um Maybe has like some different range and Hello there, where did you come from? <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. A fucking homing device on their feet or something. They can turn like 180 instantly. What the hell? Okay. Let's talk to Pate or Pate as we like to call him. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. Well, Mr. Pate. Good That's not a healthy posture. I'm telling you, you're gonna get a backache from that. My name is Pate. I, I haven't listened to these dialogues in so long. That's why I'm watching some of them because I usually just, you know, skip through. There's a different voice actor in this game, but it's the same character. I actually do like this voice actor quite a bit. See, that's a nice guy. He warns you. I saw the same design earlier, and it's the same contraption, I'm sure. I was with this warrior, you see, and he insisted that he go inside. Of course, no flappy mouth in this one either. Just like in Dark Souls 1. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there. Just wait a second. Um. Okay, dust close. I was like, wait a second. I yeah, don't even think about that. Got a spear, bitch. Man, I love Dark Souls too. Just because of how like open it is with your weapon usage. It doesn't care if you're wielding a weapon in one hand, two hand, power stanced. It just lets you do it. And there's way fewer enemies here than there normally is. Like crazily few enemies. This is actually a fairly difficult gauntlet. Normally. But maybe they're all up here. And no, actually. Huh. That's okay. I never noticed how weird that building looks. It almost looks like there's a house built into the walls or something. Anyways. That was, yeah, incredibly easy. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Pate. Such a nice guy. <laughs> what the hell? Where did you come from? You just sat there watching your friends get slaughtered? Unbelievable. You can't rely on these guys for nothing. Who is this? Seriously? Ruined Aphlis? Isn't he, like, super powerful? I think he is. Let's just give you ruined Aflis to deal with this bullshit section or something. <laughs> yeah, just have Aflis. Oh, come on. This is what I'm talking about. I see you. I see you and... I'm not gonna risk it. Uh, unbelievable. Maybe it's meant to be for the Pursuer. But yeah, I just wanted to open this up before... Before we do anything stupid. And this is... The same thing. I'm noticing a lot of the treasures are intact. Which is good because... Probably the most annoying thing is when modders move like everything around. Uh, and then you can cannot find shit. Like a couple of... 
you know treasure location changes are fine but I specifically remember like of ash and dust or was it daughters of ash I don't remember uh, which like moved every single thing in the game and I was just like fucking hell I don't know how to find anything which I guess is fair because it does add to the sort of challenge that's why you play a mod I don't know I don't know where I'm going with this thought line or line of thought I should say what up bros I know how this plays out so I just, yeah. It actually played out very easily. This is such a nice vista, like... Photo worthy, I would say. This is Vendrick. The statue of Vendrick. The ocean sounds here are really good, like... Just look at how much better this looks than some of the uh, the backgrounds in Dark Souls 3. Like the stupid fucking cut off horizon line. Like how the hell did I even make it past testing? And this game is like, what, four years older? And it has all like fancy skylines. Not that this game doesn't have its fair share of world issues. Iron Keep to... I mean, Earthen Peak to Iron Keep being the prime example, the most infamous. 6,500 souls, I think. That is something to go back for. And a Bright Bug is very useful, but no, you know what? I'm gonna spend these on leveling up. The only question is, what do we spend it on, on with Seek Seek Lest? Uh. So that's four levels. I know what to get for uh, the York Spear. There is pretty heavy stat investment for that. Let's get a couple of points in HP. And a couple of points into strength. Because the York Spear needs like... What was it? 30-25 I think. So we will need to put points into strength. Uh, it's okay. This is going to be sort of like a quality build. I mean, this is Ishin, so we're not exactly going to be flipping around using magic, uh, you know. So I think this is a fair... Listen, getting levels is mad easy in this game. It's This is a very lengthy game. You have a shit ton of bosses, a shit ton of areas, lots of farming spots, so... It's like the least of the issues here. Yeah. Let's do boss numero uno. Mr. Last Giant. Let's see what he has to offer. I should have summoned Aflis. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can bring him down here. I would probably wreck his boss though. His boss? This boss. Wreck his bussy, you know, or something. Except this dude's bussy is on his face. That's the weird thing about him. Oh, and the other dude is not here. The tower shield dude. Or the double shield dude. Yeah, whatever. Ishin is ready for you. You gotta admit, that is a cool design, though. I did like the giants in this game, even though, you know, butt face aside, uh, at least at least they look unique. And it's like in Dark Souls 3 they couldn't commit, so they just gave, gave what's his name, Yorm, a face anyways. Such a lie too, because this dude is absolutely not the last giant. In fact, they're all over the place in this game. Not really all over the place, but there's a couple of them. Yeah, this guy's mad quick. I gotta be careful. He's stomping. He's like an orc from Warhammer. 
likes that stomp. And this spear is not doing any damage. Hundred and seventeen. Oh fuck! Yeah, this is gonna shit be an adjustment for sure. How is this thing dealing so much damage? My katana, I mean. Yeah, you can't really be like impatient here. Get him out of the corner there. Was because of the counter damage or something. I don't know, the spear is supposed to have good counter damage too. Yeah, we need to we need to get him out of there cuz like no room to maneuver. But then again, oh, come on. He's like this big fuck you attack to where he like face plans. I don't think we're gonna see that. Goodbye, giant. Naisu, naisu. Easy boss. Easy, easy boss. Cool. So 5k souls. Uh, yeah, let's not risk that. But actually, then, it's not gonna matter too much level-wise. Uh, let's just go back to the bonfire. Hold on a second, I'm just thinking, didn't I miss a crystal lizard up here? First time around? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, come on. There we go. Fuck up. Unbelievable. Alright, so the katana is not the best at hitting crystal lizards. I think that's a lesson we need to learn. See, if we move on, I just want to try out. I think it would be a shame not to summon ruined Aflis if they sort of hand him to us on a silver platter like that. So what we're gonna do is do exactly that. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, come on, Aflis. See, in this game, this shade mechanic was fairly interesting. It's an interesting concept. The only issue with it is that. Uh, my neck itches, is that getting the summon soapstone is so easy anyways that most people just did it. Like, why would you ever want to be... Holy shit, this guy has a lot of HP. Come on, Aflis. I need you now more than ever. What the hell? <laughs> Blast him while he's down. Um... Yeah, so you're getting the soap zone is so easy that it's like, why would you ever just want to be summoned as a shade? It was supposed to be like an alternative to summoning, you know, if you don't want to help out somebody for long, you can just do this, but it's sort of a little bit pointless, I feel like. Anyways... I'm really curious how he would do against Pursuer, so come on. I feel like his time is gonna run out like halfway through the battle and he's gonna fuck off and leave me with the stronger Pursuer. But whatever. We're big boys here, we can manage. That is a more cinematic intro than what he does when you fight him on the other platform. You can float and shit. Alright, a fleece. That's his French name. A fleece. 
Oh yeah, it's dark as well, except that is no range on it. Bro. That don't do jack shit damage. That especially does <laughs> no damage. Yeah, that's more like it. That's what we want to see. He's totally gonna leave mid-battle. If you don't know, these things are on a timer. A timer slash, I think, amount of souls acquired. Because, you know, NPC... Not NPCs, but summons pick up, like... 10% of your souls, I think. Or something. And shades, once they get a certain amount, they just leave. Oh, he's gonna do the... Yep. Oh! Come on, that's such a Dark Souls 2 hitbox. Hey, a fleece. Can you, like, keep him? Thank you. Occupied for a bit. He ain't doing too good. Obviously, he's not the smartest. This is actually a good weapon combo. The spear and the katana. Like I said, my man Ishin was onto something. Let's try not to die here. Why do we have a summon, right? Come on. That's what we want to see. Crystal spears all around. Ooh, that was a bit close. I'm surprised he's not leaving. Mad respect to you, Aflis. Fuck, where is the thing? How do you do a gesture? There we go. I bow to you, because that was kind of dope. Yeah, he actually turned out to be pretty useful. Did I get the Ring of Blades? I did. That is one of those rings where there's a literally zero reason not to have it on. You know how it'd be. Okay. Okay, come on. Pick it up. There we go. Uh, there is something here as well. The shield. And then I think I'm gonna go to the Bastion just to unlock that. Which one is the Iron Key? Isn't the iron key... Opens the iron door of the iron keep. What? It's such a weird... That's the entrance to the DLC, right? It's such a weird place to have it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go run back up and... Unlock the Bastille. All right, let's go. Lord of the Rings out of here. Cool. <laughs> I certainly have a gruff looking character. He looks pissed all the time. And this should be the human effigy, but this should be the ember, no? Normally. Okay, that's cool. Just wanted to unlock the bonfire because I think we're going to Hades next. <clears throat> Excuse me, what the hell was that? We're going to Hades next, I think. But uh, before that, let's level up. Oh, she took off her hood. Does she normally do that? There's a dude here too. Uh, cool, I think we're going to get that. get that dex too because because of that scaling though and I just like did you see how I just flipped back cool 
That's a magic hoodie. Oh, it's this guy. Both have the same clothes on. Both shop at Uniqlo. He should. Interesting that he's out here when his dialogue doesn't match, but it okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I think what we're gonna do here, boys, is we're going to wrap up episode three of Tales of Drang Lake. Yeah. Nothing more to say but things are still going smoothly. I am really enjoying this playthrough and I'm really enjoying this mod so far. Probably the best mod. Nice five homeward bones, worth it. Probably the best souls mod so far. And again, opinion might change later on, but so far probably the best souls mod I've played yet. Uh, we'll see what else happens. Until then, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you haven't yet. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a curled up dead guy. Okay, never mind. Take care and peace out.